I have another Brown Jordan release, which is becoming one of the fans favorite guys. Today here we have the Air Jordan 1 Palomino. Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel Sneakers and Chris. I'm back here with another view for you guys here today and of course we do have an on foot so make sure you tune in throughout the whole video so you guys can see how these look on foot before you buy them. But before we start on this video guys, I just want to say guys, thank you guys for stopping by and watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do not forget to like, like, and like, comment, subscribe. Join the family if you guys haven't yet. I appreciate all the love and support you guys have been giving me. If you guys want to stay connected with me, my socials will be on the screen and down below in the description box. As well, I do have my own clone brand, so if you guys want to support that, that will come a long way. A follow will come a long way. The Instagram is tabbing305. In case you guys want to shop, website is www.tabbing305.com. And that's where right now you guys will be seeing what we do have in store for the clone brand. But besides that, guys, let's dive in straight into these Jordan 1s. Alright guys, so starting with the box, as we always do, we have our standard Jordan 1 box, but this time, obviously, um, they kind of matching the shoe. Well, for this release, not really matching the shoe, but I guess matching the name. Um, usually, we have the, the whole box in black with the writing in red, but this time, we have it in gold. We have the Nike Swoosh in gold all around the box, and the rest of the box is in black. Um, obviously, if you guys do not know, but the Pal um, Palomino um, stands for gold, like a gold pony um, horse, so you kind of have... The hits of gold on the box that's that where the label at this is how your label looks i'll insert a screenshot just to get the lighting a little um too bright so you guys can see the label a little clearer but i'll also read it just in case you guys want me to the label reads air jordan one retro high og um style code is dz54850020 and the colorway is black metallic gold palomino um this is the size um usa 9 euro is a 42.5 uk is a 8 and as you open the box you should see a white, a white paper wrapping and then it should be the shoe itself in there. So now that we're done with the box, let's jump straight into the good stuff and talk about some details of the shoe. So first off, this shoe released today, September 2nd, Saturday, at retail of 180 and it did come out in grade school. So it came out in men's for 180 and um, grade school for... 140. Um, if you go, if you guys go on the sneaker app um, for the men's, it's completely sold out. I think the gray school is still um, available for some sizes, so it kind of kind of showing you that for the men's, um, these were kind of not the demand was kind of high, but not too low. Um, again, I feel like a lot of people were sleeping on them before, but as the release got closer, I think everybody wanted a little piece. So that's why, obviously, if you see it sells out on sneakers, then that means everybody wanted a little piece. It's a Jordan One, so you cannot hate a Jordan One, and this color actually looks pretty nice in person. So first thing I want to touch base on is that name Palomino. Like I said in the beginning, it stands for gold um, horse or pony. And to be honest, the only gold on the shoe is on the tongue. The Nike Air matching the box. Obviously on the box is very big, so it's kind of noticeable. But on the shoe itself, this is the only gold. Actually, I like there's more. There's another Nike Air inside of the shoe is in gold and that Palomino gold. Um, but besides that, the shoe is just brown and black. So honestly, I feel like they probably should have named it another colorway. Um, but hey, I am not Nike and Jordan. I don't know who comes up with these names. But again, it's not a bad release. Just probably a different name would have been better. So, but besides, besides the little hit of gold, we have the rest of the shoe in that brown and black colorway. You have the leather, some of the leather right here in black. You have the tongue going down in black. The back of the tongue in black. Your sock liner and the insole is in black. On the Jumpman wing right here, the Air Jordan wing right here, the famous Air Jordan wing on the Jordan 1 right here. You have that in black. And besides that, that's pretty much all the black. You have your laces as well in all black. There is no extra laces. It would have been dope to see these with extra laces, but we just have one simple color laces. But I know a lot of you guys are probably just gonna buy some laces. These would look clean with some cell laces. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. But besides that, again, we have the rest of the shoe in that brown colorway. We have the rest of the shoe in that brown colorway and the material for the brown colorway is a new buck material and it is one of those materials if you scratch it the scratch probably gonna stay as you guys can tell right here pretty sure there's probably a cleaning supply um supply to probably fix that um the little marks but if you just be careful you so you guys don't scratch it let me show you guys a little detail you see 
I just put my nail right here. You guys can see the little scratch. So that's the type of material it has on it. It feels very good though. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. This um, material, even the black um, leather material feels very good. Overall, the material on both the black and the brown feels a uh, very premium material that new buck material feels kind of different compared to the new buck we usually get with our jordan's releases same brown new buck on the swooshes as well too on the toe box area again very nice material for jordan one for 180 again i'm liking this uh, i'm liking i'm liking the way it's filled the quality feels very nice and very premium and then as we go to the also we have the also and that brown colorway as well matching the rest of the shoe you could and besides the also we have the midsole of the shoe in a cream cell colorway which to me makes the shoe looks even better you, ha you already guys you got you guys already know cell and brown goes very well this is not the first time we've seen it on jordan releases And obviously we want to thank Travis Scott for inspiring this brown colorway look and Jordan is just riding the wave because obviously when it comes to brown releases, especially when it comes to Jordan 1's, it sells out very good, it does very good. You know, before we dive into rating and sizing, I just want to show you guys the little difference between the Jordan, the brown colorway Jordan ones that I have in my personal collection. So obviously these, and then we have the famous mochas. So as you guys can see, both of them are brown, kind of have the similar look, but obviously this is more of a dark mocha colorway, more of a brown, more of a dark brown colorway. Then we have a lighter shade of brown, and as of course we have the famous Travis. The famous Travis. So, but besides that, let's dive straight into rating. Comment below how you guys feel about this release. Did you guys go out for them? Are you guys gonna hold off and probably think about it and maybe get them later? Um, give your honest your rating from one to ten, and I'm gonna start first. And to be honest, for me, when I first seen the pictures, pictures never do it fully. To be honest, pictures is just a little tease. But when you have it in hand, you feel it, you smell it, you put it in your feet. It feels different, it hits different. And my and for my rating, I'll definitely say this is a solid nine. Again, it's a pretty clean shoe. Quality is amazing, and the colorway just sits very well with the material. To me, I don't even care about the little hits of gold that is really not in the whole shoe, not really matching the name. But I'm I really appreciate just the shoe itself and not really the name. So definitely I'll say it's worth it, guys. Um, if you guys never had a Travis or never had the Mochas or anything close to a brown looking shoe in the Jordan um lineup. Go ahead and go out for these because these are going to be one of the easiest brown looking shoes to go for that looks very clean and that looks very close to one of these hype releases you know so definitely i'll say it's worth it do not forget to comment below how you guys feel and comment your rating but besides the rating before we finish all this video let's not forget let's talk about sizing now let's dive into into sizing just in case you guys never had a jordan one before and wonder what size to go for and like i always recommend when it comes to jordan one high you guys can go through the size you guys will be perfectly fine with true the size um if it's your first time wearing jordan one it may feel a little different just because it's a high compared to a low um so but once you get used to it it's gonna feel very light on your feet and it's gonna feel very good it is a very comfortable jordan in my opinion not something i'll wear all day but if you go into a little outing nice little outing if you want to look very presentable and nice jordan one is always here to help you give that classy look especially when you have a colorway like that you definitely gonna stand out definitely gonna feel good and you definitely gonna feel like you have premium shoe on your feet with this colorway and this material so definitely go true a size you should be good that right, guys that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys enjoyed the unfold if you guys did please do not forget to like comment subscribe join the family if you guys haven't yet it's niggas and chris i'm out i'll catch you guys in the next one